Shalom, shalom, and greetings from Teshua Community. I am Ima Raphael, and today, daughters, we're bringing to you Kodash dressing. And I know you said, well, you don't, you know how to dress. You don't know how to dress unless you've been taught. And here at Teshua, we as young women have been learned, we have been taught how to dress, how to cover ourselves before Almighty Yah. We're going to show you some daughters that show you how to dress when they go out, how they dress when they come into the bed, and then I'm going to give you a scripture verse that'll make you think. Hallelujah. So our first daughter that we will show you will be Aho Yorona. Shalom. I am Aho Yorona, and this is my casual wear when I would go to run errands, just to go to the park, and all of this came from Sheen, the skirt and the top. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. My name is Aho Anna. I'm Aunt Marcos's wife. This entire outfit, except for the covering and the shoes, came from Sheen. I like my shirts to be long enough so that I can lift my hands unto y'all. And I like my skirts to be long enough so that when I sit, they don't come up too far. But everything came from Sheen, and it was really, really inexpensive. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. I'm Hadassah and my outfit came from Sheen. This is something that I would wear to the Bay Yet for service on Wednesday or Shabbat. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. My name is Ahava, and this is something I would wear to go to the park or to the zoo. I got my blouse from Burlington and my skirt from Sheen. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Say shalom, Kefra. Shalom. This is Kefra. This is something that she will wear going out or to service. Um, this is just a casual, simple little dress from Sheen. She has her arms covered, her dress is long enough, and her head covering on. Say Yahweh Baruch. Yahweh Baruch. Did you want to say something? <laughs> um, this is Mama. She has a single dress and guys on the wall. And she is one from the shoe. Okay. As Kefra said, this outfit came from Sheen. It's simple. I can't wear it to the zoo or to the tabernacle. Nothing fancy. Just covering and Kodesh dresses. Shalom. Shalom, this is Rhea, Tifra, and Davida. And this is what they can wear for either going out or casual wear. And you can find these dresses cheap at Sheen. I said, and they're long, they're comfortable, they're, you don't really have to iron them. So say Shalom. Shalom. Did you want to say something? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and say it. I would wear this at the zoo. Okay. Hey, we at the tabernacle. Okay. All right. Shalom. 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 My name is Zipporah, and this is my outfit from, from Sheen. The skirt is from Sheen and the sh um, shirt, and I will wear this for Wednesday service or Shabbat. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. My name is Saria, and this is one of my favorite outfits. I would love to wear this for Shabbat because it's nice and bright and colorful. And this is one of my favorite skirts because the skirt is light and it's fit for summertime. Shalom. All right, daughters, this is an outfit that I would wear for Shabbat Eve. I'm sorry, just for Shabbat. Everything came from, no, the blouse came from Amazon and the skirt came from Sheen. 
I'm covered. My arms are covered. My breasts are covered. And we as the daughters of Tazayim, we must learn to cover ourselves. There's a difference between the women of the world and the women that are following Torah truth. Hallelujah. We don't wear pants. We don't wear mini skirts. We don't wear shorts. We cover ourselves because our bodies are meant only for our itch. As a whole honor explains to you, she is married, so she covers herself. We all do, all the daughters here do, we do have an ish, and our bodies are meant for our husbands. But let me just read, this is one of the first scriptures I read, and I came to the understanding of it. I was a 22-year-old woman, and I asked the messenger, should I continue to wear my pants? And this is a scripture verse he gave me. It's coming from 20, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto Almighty Yah. The word abomination, what do you think that means? It's a hatred. It's a disgust before Almighty Yahweh. And you say, well, the men wear, uh, back then the men wore robes. Can I say there was still a distinguish in a man's garment and a woman's garment? Can I say something? If a man put on a dress today, the first thing you would say that he was a homosexual. That's the first thing you would say. If I saw a man with a dress on, that's what I would say. Because that's where your mind goes to first. We want to please y'all. We're not trying to please the world. We're not trying to get the world's approval because they're not going to ever approve of the way that we dress. So we being the daughters of Tazai, we must, we must be instructed on how we dress, how we cover ourselves every day. And it starts with getting truth here first. Once you start hearing that truth, it will bother you the way you dress. I didn't always dress right. I was always exposing my arms. My legs, you saw my legs. So once, once we come to the knowledge of the truth, there is a way that we should dress. We should not look like the world. We want to please Almighty God in everything that we do, daughters. We have to get that right mindset first. Another scripture I'd like to leave with you all today, but I want you to look up the word abomination. Hallelujah. There's one more scripture I wanted to read. Praise God. Well, I can't even find it in my mind. But let the mind of Yahshua HaMashiach be in you. Pick up the book then. Examine yourself. And the way that you dress daughters, that's how you dress your little girls too. You dress your babies the way that you dress. You teach them how to dress mothers, set apart, Kodesh, before Almighty God. And our last daughter will be a whole, uh, Sakia. She's going to show you her Kodesh dress for today. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Yahweh Baruch you. As Ima said, I am a host Sakim. I love colors. So this is what I would dress in if I was in the tabernacle. And also you hardly see me because basically I'm always behind the camera. But we ask you all to make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe, and continue to tune in. Also, this outfit right here, it came from Timu. And both of these was under $20. Just getting this and this, it's only $20 for it. Also, the boots came from Amazon. So, it's your choice, your pick, but Yahweh Baruch, you all, hit the like button.